Shaky, yes, it's been a very wonderful ride on those flavors of Azerbaijan series. Now, I'm checking out the local market in Shaky. You don't visit any town without checking out their local market. Yes, we'll be doing that, checking out so many other things they've got to show me in Shaky and ending it with a very big feast at Belura's family friend's house. Let's go. If you visit any town, especially as a tourist, if you don't check out the local market and trust me you have not actually toured so anytime i travel or do my travel series i make sure i get to visit the local market at least one in the country so in shaki i decided to visit their local market to find out what they eat how they eat it what they sell and it was quite fun we found a lot of interesting things that we can actually get to compare to nigeria we passed through the butcher's shop of course i see that they actually still sell head of goat like we do like our isie they have a uh, tripe for sale they, they cook with a lot of fat so they actually have um, lamb fats and uh, mutons for sale as well then of course you know shaki in the whole of azerbaijan is known for their sweet that's called the halwa last week we tried out our own naughty sweet treat inspired by the shaki halwa so there were a lot of halwa in the market different types i realized that just the way we bake cakes to give to people for anniversaries to say happy birthday or various anniversaries or celebrations that's the way they bake their halwas and inscribe um greetings on them sent to people it was fun we checked out the flower shop people selling fresh flowers but what was quite fascinating for me was having to meet with the local market health inspector Okay, so while we were in the market, we met the um, inspector, inspector, uh, inspector exactly. of the market. So his, his job is to inspect all the fruits and vegetables and meat and fishes that people are selling, selling to be sure that it's good for consumption. Yeah. So he actually invited us to his office, which is inside the market. So we are here and it actually smells like a lab. Check everything if they are fresh yeah, and if, and if there is no problem. any disease, if the animal is not sick. So he does this every morning before they every start morning. selling? Yeah, every morning. What time does he resume work? Değil, siz saat neçe de başlıyorsunuz onda işinizi ki? Ya bizim Allah. işi beşimiz haradası saat yedi. His job every day is to resume there as early as 5 o'clock, like very early before the market people start coming. Now, the market people, especially those selling perishable goods like uh, meat and cheese and um, stuff like that, they have to come early as well to submit samples of what they'll be selling that day. Now, by the time they submit their samples, the health inspector and his team do their work on it, check for bacteria, check that it's good for consumption before they allow it to go on sale in the market, which was fantastic. It was also fascinating to find out that just the way we buy pasta in packs here, they actually sell pastas in um, cups or moodles like um, we, we sell rice or beans. Now, I saw different type of grains that they sell. They eat a lot of nuts as well, so uh, there was so much nuts in the market. Now, I won't forget the pickle area. A whole street in the market was for pickles. So this is this one and this one we use for the 
skate. And this one is a lot of big as well. Outside. Outside. So outside of the stone, in your garden, actually, okay. Also. And it doesn't really have all this. It will, it will, right now, but when you start to be old, right, you will see that it's cutting the way again. Sure, finish. I also got to see the uh, livestock area of the market where they were selling goats, where they were selling uh, chicken and um, goose, ducks, a lot of them, just the way we have them in uh, Nigeria where you have the corner for the, the livestock. So after checking out livestock as well, that inspired me to say, okay, I want to even see where the livestock comes from. The tall guy they gave to us, he took me to the abattoir. Now an abattoir is where they keep all the animals and kill them before they start taking them to the shop to sell so um, I visited the abattoir though it was quite late because they would have finished doing the butchering and sending them out but at least I still saw some of the animals that were still alive they were quite beautiful and clean because of their terrain and because of the kind of sand they have so it wasn't muddy like we do have here in Nigeria so I was able to carry one or two goats they were quite pretty and took selfies with the goats Anyway, so after that, um, I decided it was, it was a Sunday, so I asked for a church. Apparently, they really do not have churches in Azerbaijan because it's a Muslim country. Now, they still do not have so much mosque, even if it's a Muslim country. Fish? Fish, exactly. Yes, and it's Sunday today in Kish. Yeah, and we have decided to come visit the Alban Church. Church, yeah. Yeah, and Alban Church, we hear this is one of the oldest churches in this region, and it was founded in the first century, century. by Apostle Eliseus. And I yeah. don't know who that Apostle is. Yeah, so but it's an old church. Please call Paul Heyadon. Paul Heyadon is actually Scandinavian, so it's from Okay. Uh, so he's a scientist. Uh, okay. Uh, he visited Azerbaijan okay. uh, years ago and then he visited uh, Shaki. He of course came to this village, the, to this village in Fish and he uh, saw uh, also the church. And the uh, restoration of the restoration of the restoration and of course the information. And also during the year. Of course they died. Sorry, then too in Taking the tour around the Alban church, we were given a treat of tea and jam. Of course, it's Azerbaijan, they always drink tea. So we had um, tea the Azerbaijani way and um, jam. So I got to see walnut jam, some other few kind of jams that I've not seen. And you know, they do chunky fruit jams, not like the regular jams that you see. So um, it was time to leave Sheki and we had to quickly rush to see Bilura's family friends. Uh, uh, and they have this beautiful house, beautiful architecture beautiful garden lovely flowers even when flowers were not so much in bloom the flowers that i saw was extremely pretty now their daughter was there at a point her twin children came to join us and uh, 
typical of Azerbaijani homes there was lots of food there was relish there was rice there was meat so much meat like so much meat at a point we even had to do some meat barbecues of course they did tea too because you know they do a lot of tea and yeah the yogurt soup here is a yogurt soup inside yogurt soup so it's yogurt so it's uh, water salt and of course we add rice inside and it's a season season uh, herbs inside that now is a season here okay so let's go to our tea Okay, so this is our last stop in Shaki. This is the last place we are visiting before we leave Shaki back to Baku. And this is the barbecue that we did. Really, really nice. In the Azerbaijani world, when they love something, they are eating, they go, bear, bear, bear. Very, very, very for this. So it's really, really nice. And you know, we've been eating the uh lamb, lamb meat and um, a lot of dolmas and all of yeah. those things so everything in shaki is burr, burr, burr. <laughs> one thing that i really really love from Bilura family's friend's house apart from me doing barbecue with them was the potato and lamb meat dish so i'll be doing a potato and beef one pot dish trying to replicate this beautiful dish i had at Belura's family friend's house now it was really pretty i enjoyed everything in their home i enjoyed shaky but it was time to go back to baku the drive back to baku was beautiful we got lost at some point got lost in the mountain but as much as we were getting lost i was seeing more things I was gaining more courage and it was all fun. Thank you so much, Shecky. I really want to come back to Shecky. So let's quickly go and do my one pot potato and meat dish.